everyone. Hey, it's Kayak Cliff. Today it's uh, about the middle of March 2024 and uh, we're taking the Boston Whaler out in Clearwater, Florida and we're going to do a circuitous uh, navigation where we're going to take the boat out of Clearwater Pass out by Clearwater Beach and then we're going to head south and go down to Johns Pass which is it's past Indian Rocks and past uh, uh, Reddington Shores. It's at Madeira Beach. So we're gonna go out on the golf and we're gonna come in John's Pass down in Madeira Beach. And then we're gonna come up the intercoastal waterway. So we're gonna do a circumnavigation here. And you can be, I'm gonna show you all the sights and sounds and everything around here by boat. And uh, it's just a beautiful day today. It's like high as 75, the winds are perfect and it should be a beautiful trip. So come along with us and we'll head on out. I can just hear it right now. Mommy, Daddy, I want to drive the shark. I want to go in the shark boat. <laughs> Another tourist boat going out looking at uh, all the sights and uh, probably I think they look for dolphins too. A lot of cool stuff to do down here in Clearwater. Okay, we're going out Clearwater Pass right now. And uh, you know, here's a bunch of hotels. That's the uh, brand new Marriott JW Hotel. Uh, supposed to be very nice, but all along the Clearwater beaches, and we'll head out that way, uh, lots of really nice hotels out there. The other side is called Sand Key, and it has just a row of jetties that run out uh, into the Gulf, and those jetties help protect this uh, this area from uh, you know the waves and the currents and keep erosion down. So it's always a navigable pass. So many tourism and party and fishing boats out here. That sea screamer uh, is pretty cool. Uh, boy, it casts a big wake, too. Here we go. <laughs> but uh, it takes uh, you know, tourists out to see dolphins and just see the sights out here. Well, I must say that's a first for me. I don't think I've ever seen a floating electronic billboard out in the Gulf of Mexico. But that's with all the spring breakers here and everything. He's just cruising the beach and uh, and uh, advertising for all the different businesses. It's it's spring training down here in Florida at this time of year as well. So it's a big. It's not only spring breakers. It's spring people coming down for spring training uh, to watch all the cool baseball games. Time for a little lunch while I'm cruising. Got some leftover pizza from last night. Boy, I tell you, this is the life.
As I'm going down the beach here in the Gulf, there's uh, just rows of crab trap buoys. And uh, that was pretty cool. There was actually the crab trap boats coming up, uh, pulling up and servicing the traps and uh, taking the crabs out and putting them back in. Uh, that's, uh, I think here primarily they're catching the, uh, the uh, stone crab this time of year is what's in season. Uh, or I think it might just be out of season actually. Then they're, they're going back to a uh, blue crab. Then they're just they're probably just getting blue crab but i think the season still might be on just a little bit it's through the winter months is the uh, stone crab season The one thing I always like to point out about boating in this part of the U.S. is the west coast of Florida, because of the shallow depths and the prevailing winds that are typically here, it's, you can boat in the bays, but you can often boat comfortably out in the Gulf. It's not really, really rough usually. Uh, it's also not a place that you're typically going to see surfers because we just don't get those types of waves here. Uh, but what it does do is it creates an area that is really conducive to boating. Uh, if you go to the east coast of Florida, it's a whole different story out on the Atlantic. It can get pretty rough. Even where I'm from on Texas, at the Texas Gulf Coast, it gets pretty rough. It's, you don't see a lot of boaters. Whereas out here, there's just boaters everywhere. So kind of a, you know, it's not really common to have that. And it just makes this area of the country a great boating area. Just saw some dolphins, so I'm kind of on a dolphin hunt trying to find um, a bunch of dolphins to show you guys. Saw some great ones yesterday. And uh, well, these uh, jet skiers are going to ruin it because they were coming up and they're like, oh, dolphins. Now they're circling them. And now, oh, there they are right over there. Yeah, leave it to them to scare them away. Anyway. We'll work our way over there. Well, that was totally awesome. I got that dolphin right up at the bow of the boat. That's the closest I've ever been. I just, I just came in and I cut the motor and uh, just waited and they came up. It was beautiful. That's, uh, that's one of my objectives. I, I love dolphins. So I'm, yeah, you might get sick of seeing dolphins on my videos, but whenever I see them, I like to show them. Well, we're entering John's Pass here, and John's Pass is the southern, uh, kind of the southern part of uh, Pinellas Pass. Well, it actually goes farther down the St. Pete Beach, but it's uh, more of the southern uh, Pinellas County. And this is where we're going to do our, circum uh, our circumnavigation. But uh, yeah, it's Madeira Beach, and uh, again, a lot like Clearwater Beach. Not, not as built up with the big hotels, uh, but still lots of hotels and condos out there. And just super pretty beaches.
Well, it's been years since I've been down to John's Pass. Just when you come in under the bridge, there's just restaurant after restaurant after restaurant and docks and you can pull up and tie up your boat and grab something to eat. This is a cool place. A lot of boaters out here today, even on a Thursday in March. Uh, pretty cool, but I have fun looking around here. Certain portions along the intercoastal that we're going back in, uh, there's no wake zone. So we're just kind of trotting along here, looking at the sights. Just saw some more cool dolphins back there. And uh, I'm on the hunt to find you some more. But here it looks like I can speed up a little bit. Oh, it's so fun here reliving the experiences of my youth uh, out in my Boston Whaler back in the in the 80s and late 70s and early 80s. Uh, now I'm in a, a new current model Boston Whaler and boy have these boats changed. They are fabulous boats that you can do just about anything in. They take the seas so much better. They're drier. Uh, there's so much more amenities on them. Uh, very comfortable boats. And the big plus that I like is you could trailer them anywhere. I trailered this down from Texas and uh, I, I only lost like a mile and a half a gallon. Normally I get like 19 miles per gallon. I got like, well no, normally I get 20 miles per gallon on the highway. I got 18 and a half miles per gallon. So, and now when I'm out joy riding like this, I'm only gonna use about four gallons of gas going about 30 miles. So super efficient boats, uh, very cost effective to own and operate. Woohoo! The no wake zone has ended. I can get going again. The other good thing about shelter hats, you saw it blow off my head. Well, I, it's got a chin strap and I forgot to put it on, but uh, they float. I can't tell you how many sun hats I've lost over the years. And that's a great feature. Got to dry it out here now. We've come full circle. Our circumnavigation is complete. We left Clearwater. We went out the Sand Key Bridge down Clearwater Pass and we went south. Went all the way down to Johns Pass down at Madeira Beach and then all the way up the ICW or the Intercoastal Waterway. Thank you so much for coming with me. Uh, I do videos with kayaking, camping, boating, biking all outdoor activities, but with an emphasis on water. So please like and subscribe to my videos. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithms and I'll keep on producing great content for you. I really appreciate you watching. Again, 
don't forget to like and subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And if you ever see me out kayaking or anything in the outdoors adventuring, please come up to me. I got a kayak clip sticker I'll give you. And, uh, you know, I hope I see you out there. God's blessings to you and your families. Stay safe out there. Kayak Cliff out.